take a wild guess. What do these paintings have in common? Hard to tell, right? Let's try again. What about these paintings? Now the similarity is more apparent. Well then, let us begin the untold story of Chinese woodblock prints, starting with Claude Monet's love affair with Japanese art. In the late 1800s, a radical art movement was rapidly unfolding in Paris. A group of artists, heralded by Claude Monet, rebelled against classical painting subject matters and embraced modernity. Now, a century later, an immersive art show in Beijing is bringing to life the greens and blues of Monet and the works of his friends and contemporaries. 一八四零年以后，工业革命，因为相机的诞生，欧洲的传统画家他们常常是被，呃，贵族圈养，然后呢，是为他们的那个肖像画服务，为他们的家庭服务。那因为相机的发明以后呢，他其实不再追求一个呃完完全全的写实了，他可以表达自己，啊，表达他对生活的认知。所以呢，浮世绘呢，其实让他们很大程度上打开了自己。When Japanese arts and crafts occupied a pavilion at the World's Fair of 1867 in Paris, a fever spread across Europe for all things Oriental. Works by prominent artists bear witness to this fashionable trend. Paintings of women dressed in kimonos, surrounded by Oriental props, were in vogue, and Monet hopped on the bandwagon with this portrait of his wife. 在十九世纪末、二十世纪初的时候呢，正好是东西方文明交流的一个鼎盛时期，啊，有许多的，包括日本的浮世绘，啊，中国的瓷器，源源不断的传入到欧洲。那欧洲的画家呢，也对东方的文明产生了极大的兴趣。所以当时的时候呢，在自己的家中布置上东方的元素，是一种非常时尚的一个行为。那有很多的法国的大的艺术家都会这么做。那莫奈呢，尤其喜爱浮世绘和中国的瓷器，啊，所以呢，在莫奈的，呃。Living room 里面，在他的这个非常知名的黄色的餐厅里面呢，他就挂满了所有的他的收藏的浮世绘系列啊。到现在，在基维尼花园莫奈的故居里面，依然保存了这些呃画作。Monet has never traveled to Japan, but in his Giverny home, he surrounded himself with Japanese woodblock prints. What Claude Monet found in Ukiyo-e was a real revelation. The Japanese prints that depicted scenes from everyday life appeared novel and mesmerizing. Even Vincent Van Gogh fell under its spell, making several direct copies of the print. Hang on, aren't we exploring the lesser-known story of Chinese woodblock prints? Bear with me, I haven't forgotten about it. But before that, we're taking a trip to the west side of Beijing for a ukiyo-e exhibition. Hokusai is most famous for the wave. How he painted the wave is actually adopted from the famous painter Chen Hongshou. Wait a minute, the great wave that everyone knows about, the cover image for Claude Debussy's La Mer, and the work of art providing inspiration for Van Gogh's Starry Night, has pictorial elements with Chinese origins. There's a small details which can relate to the Chinese illustrations by Chen Hongshou. The element is the wave. Because the wave is like little claw, the little claw grabbing and trying to take over the ship. In Chen Hongshou's picture, 
how he paint the wave, you can find the claw shape in there. So this part of the painting, it contains the Chinese element. Chinese artistic influences on Japanese ukiyo-e is subtle yet profound. When we take a look at the beautiful world Hiroshige created for us, we can find many hidden clues. So if you look at the trees here, Hiroshige, the artist, actually adopted some of the Chinese way of expressing the tree. How so? Because we have an illustration called the menu of the master seed uh, garden. That illustration has arrived in Japan in 1726. And the first edition which Japan has been reprinted is from the 1748. So in that illustration book, you can see the demonstration on how to paint the trees, how to paint the boat, the houses, and even most importantly, the bridges. Anyone from beginners to master painters can learn from this Chinese handbook about how to paint. Its popularity is attested to by the many editions reprinted in both China and Japan. As a true classic from which all else flows, its pictorial terminologies were inspiring for artists in both countries. Yet among all influences, it is believed that Chinese printmaking made a profound impact on the early ukiyo-e print works. The art of printing developed in China as early as the 8th century, and historical records indicate that the earliest use of woodblock illustrations by Chinese was related to the productions of religious texts. The Diamond Sutra, now residing in the British Museum's collection, is the world's earliest dated printed book. But it wasn't until the late Ming and early Qing dynasties when Chinese woodblock prints flourished. So to learn more about the traditions related to the block, I'm visiting the Yanhuang Art Museum, a private gallery 20 minutes north of downtown Beijing.年画的出现，它本身的作用就是说，在当时社会的顶层、上层社会，他们是喜欢水墨的，是很淡的，它的审美是萧瑟的。那么民间的话，老百姓欣赏的东西当然是要非常的热烈，要非常的喜庆啊
。对于我们专门去从事这种研究工作的人来说，我们更关心的是，到底是怎么影响？我们影响他，那他们有没有影响我们？然后又是谁影响了我们？姑苏版画是学了从明代晚期由传教士输入中国的西方版画的影响。从明代末期之后的中国画家，他们就懂得使用明暗透视啊这些方式。然后这个东西呢，它又影响到日本的浮世绘版画，而日本的浮世绘版画呢，又反过去影响了后印象派。它是一个非常有意思的过程。It's phenomenal how art techniques and pictorial styles can travel great distance, leaving no trace of their passage. After all, this is the true nature and intent of creativity: free and flowing ideas. Lin Lin, CGTN.